Hey there everyone, Mano back here, and today we are going to show you the fastest way to farm Bright Dust during the Festival of the Lost. In case you've been hiding under a rock while playing Destiny, there's some amazing new cosmetics at the Eververse store for Festival of the Lost, including the much celebrated dinosaur armor as well as the really cool spider sparrow. Now there's two ways to earn these items. You can either spend silver, which is going to be a real life money. So for example, if you want to get 1500 silver, that's going to be about $15 in US currency, or you could spend 6,000 bright dust. Now bright dust is the currency that they use inside of destiny to purchase cosmetics. And that is earnable only in the game. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably want to save a pretty penny with the holiday season coming up, especially if you do play a lot of Destiny. There's a lot of cool pieces of cosmetics coming up, especially with Festival of the Lost, as well as the dawning on the horizon. And if you're just going to buy that stuff with silver, it's going to get really expensive really fast. So what we need to do is figure out how to get as much bright dust as fast as possible. How do you farm Bright Dust super fast and super easy so that you can get all of the Festival of the Lost gear without selling your kidney? So we're going to go over all the ways you can do it, including the farming fast strat that we'll have at the end. If you learn anything from this video or if you just like it, then gently stroke the like button and compose a comment down below as well as subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. And with that, let's do this, shall we? So let's cover the easy low-hanging fruit first because even seasoned players will often overlook simple ways to get Bright Dust easily. First off, the easiest way to get Bright Dust is through the Season Pass. If you've purchased the Season of the Lost Season Pass, there is a bunch of Bright Dust that is just within the two tiers. There's a free tier and a paid tier and both reward Bright Dust. If you own the Season Pass, all in all, between all of the tiers, you can get about 10,500 Bright Dust just by leveling your season pass all the way up to 100. Now that's no small task, but many people have been playing regularly and can get that taken care of with some smart playtime. Now, if you have access to the season pass, you also have access to the next most easily earned source of Bright Dust, and that is the seasonal challenges. They usually require you to kill enemies in a certain way to participate in all of the seasonal activities, and they're pretty easy to do. The great part about these challenges is that once they're unlocked, they don't expire at all, meaning you can get a good heap of bright dust just by playing the game, completing the requirements at any time. We're on week eight now, coming up to week nine at the posting of this video, which means that there are a ton of unlocked seasonal challenges that you can access for easy, fast bright dust and with a little focus and just a little bit of time. All right, we've covered the low hanging fruit for those people who have the season pass. What's the next easiest way to do for free players? The next easiest way to get bright dust is the eight bounty challenge at the Drifter with Gambit, Commander Zavala with Strikes and Lord Shax for the Crucible. Each of these vendors has a challenge weekly that you can complete very easily. And all you need to do is complete eight bounties of any kind during the week and you're set. Each vendor will give you 120 bright dust after you complete this challenge. So let's go ahead now and do the math. Let's say you complete all of the eight bounty challenges at each of the vendors. They each will give you 120 bright dust every time you complete that challenge. Three vendors times 120 bright dust, that's 360 bright dust a week. Now that's only on one character. Let's do it on all three characters if they're leveled up. That is 360 times three, that's gonna be 1,080 bright dust. Now imagine you do those easy challenges for three weeks, which is the duration of Festival of the Lost. That's 300, 200 and 40 bright dust. That's more than halfway to a dino armor set and more than enough to pick up the Spider Sparrow. The Spider Sparrow is going to be 2,500 bright dust in week two coming up here at reset. This is a huge amount of bright dust, but it still leaves us a little ways to go. So that leaves us with two more sources of bright dust. The next best place to look is in the Eververse engrams. These engrams will give you random cosmetics from the Eververse and they're unlocked every five levels past the maximum season pass of level 100, but they're also included in the season pass themselves. While they will drop random Eververse cosmetic items, every once in a while, you will receive a small, medium, or large drop of bright dust. This can drop from 250 bright dust all the way to 1000. Now, here's the problem. 
even if you decide to farm these engrams and farm XP, you're not guaranteed to actually get Bright Dust. Instead, you might get a random ship, a sparrow, an exotic ornament, but not something that will help you out with the Festival of the Lost gear. So with all of those sources of Bright Dust exhausted, what can we do that is repeatable? Maybe you're someone who's spent all of your Bright Dust already, you've completed all the seasonal challenges that you can, you've done everything that you can do there. How can you farm Bright Dust consistently? That leaves us with the final source of Bright Dust in the game, and that is the repeatable bounties at all of the vendors. And that is where we're going to make bank. This is the only way you can farm currently in the game on a repeatable basis. And you can pick up these bounties from the Drifter, Shax, Zavala, and Eva Levante for whatever event that is going on at the given time. In this case, we've got the Festival of the Lost. Now here's the problem with these bounties. They're a hodgepodge of random assorted things that you have to do that can make it hard to farm. Also, you have to go keep picking them up from the vendors and it makes for a tough time to do it consistently. What if I told you that, that there is a method to the madness and a way that you could streamline this and farm 50 bright dust in nearly every five minutes? That's 600 an hour, by the way. Do this in conjunction with the other sources of bright dust and you'll easily have enough to get some of the new gear. And here's what you need to do. Bounty curating. Here's what I mean by that. We are going to take advantage of the Festival of the Lost repeatable bounties. I've been doing some testing on these easily accessible bounties and discovered an easy way to farm bright dust. There is a pattern to these bounties that allows you to take advantage of the haunted lost sectors and to farm bright dust. The most likely bounties you are going to get are these. It's going to be stasis or kinetic or energy weapon final blows, some type of damage type like solar arc or void, heavy weapon final blows, ability final blows like supers, melees, and grenades, or kill 20 enemies without dying or kill groups of three rapidly 10 times. There's also a precision bounty that you can do as well. So what I figured out is that there are bounties that you can do quickly and efficiently and optimize a build around this and get rid of the ones that take a ton of time. By doing this, you save a ton of time. You can basically go in, farm a couple of easy enemies inside of the haunted lost sectors, get back out, get more bounties, and repeat that over and over and over and over really quickly. This takes minutes to do. Here are the bounties you should be focusing on. You should make sure that you get any of the weapon final kills. Usually that's between 20 to 25, especially focusing on stasis or void. Focus on also getting the ones that say kill groups of three rapidly 10 times or the melee 10 enemies. These are the bounties to avoid. Skip any of the ability final blows like supers or grenades as it takes time to build them up and also your blueberry teammates might actually be going for kills as well at this point. Skip any bounty that calls for 40 final blows. It just takes too much time. By focusing on getting these bounties, it is so easy to complete in the first couple minutes of the haunted law sectors. And it's so easy to clear, especially if you farm the spawns of the enemies while your teammates are taking care of the haunted law sector champions. Here are the weapons that will make this go faster. Aegir's Scepter is really solid because it works for stasis and kinetic weapon final kills, as well as groups of enemies. It will kill 20 enemies really, really quickly. It is very fast because anything that's affected by stasis will account for that bounty. Next up, have a falling guillotine that will count for void and heavy final blows. Next up, Wither Horde. That will work really well for kinetic final blows, and you can use it on spawns really quickly. You can use Tiku's Divination if you've got that for Sonal final blows really quickly because of the explosive damage. And for Arc, you want to try to bring Trinity Ghoul or Risk Runner, especially because many of the enemies shoot Arc. You can proc Risk Runner really quickly. When you're switching your weapons, try to keep a special weapon in the kinetic slot. So that's Aegir's Wither Horde, the Shotgun Grenade Launcher, etc. Try to keep a primary in the energy slot. This makes it easier to retain ammo, especially if you're switching between weapons to get these bounties done. If you don't have any of these weapons I mentioned, just grab something similar as best as you can, but Aegir's is probably the most necessary weapon that you can have. And again, it's free if you own the season pass. Now, once you get those bounties knocked out, how do you effectively farm them? Do you stick inside of the haunted law sector and kill all the bosses? No. Do you head back to the tower? No. What you're going to do is as soon as you have the bounties done, collect them while you're inside the Lost Sector, then go to orbit. At that point, grab your phone and log into the Destiny 2 app. 
On the main page in the director, there's a button that will say bounties. Just click on that, then go to Eva Levante and pick up the repeatable bounties again. Curate them in case you get some of those really long bounties like the 40 kill bounties and immediately go back into the haunted law sector. Now this is a good time to head to spider as well if you need to pick up more glimmer and this method is going to require a lot of glimmer. Luckily spider will sell you glimmer or materials for legendary shards so if you have a lot of those lying around like I do then you can easily access some fast glimmer. What's great about this too is that if you actually do want to clear the bosses to continue to farm for roles for Jurassic Green Horror Story or the Bray Tech Wolf, go ahead. Let's say you're done farming palindromes on Grandmaster Nightfalls or playing Crucible or just over the Trials playlist. This is something you can do basically without thinking. These enemies are all pushovers and I was able to get about 1100 Bright Dust while watching a movie in the background. The main thing you want to do to complete this is to get the first adds whenever you're in the opening area of the Haunted Lost Sector. These enemies are quick to kill, they have spawns that are easy to read, they're low power level, and they're usually in groups. And that's it everybody, that is the fastest farm in Destiny 2 for Bright Dust currently, but you need to do it during the Festival of the Lost so that you have access to those Haunted Lost Sectors and the bounties. It's way faster than picking up any of the other repeatable bounties and way faster than just praying for XP to get Eververse Engrams. I'll have a guide on how to quickly farm Bright Dust once the Festival of the Lost is over and we'll start prepping for the Dawning event later this year. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and gently tap that like button if this video helped you out. Also, if you need any other help, make sure that you stop by my channel twitch.tv slash manodestra, where I help tons of people with Destiny 2, from raids to Grandmaster Nightfalls to exotic quests, we've got you covered. Good hunting, Guardians. I'll see you next time in the universe of Destiny.